We are joined by former Defense Secretary Mark Esper. He is going to weigh on in this. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Mitch. Good to be with you. China, China keeps threatening some kind of retaliation. And last time they all but invaded Taiwan, they made it look like, hey, this is what it's going to look like when we invade Taiwan, if we do. But I kind of wonder if China will continue to make these threats, given that uh, clearly, as you just heard Speaker McCarthy there say, uh, the Americans do not care about those threats. Yeah, well, look, this is clearly different than when Speaker Pelosi traveled last summer and actually visited Taipei. And I was actually there two weeks before her and visiting with President Tsai and her cabinet. So it was a very strong message of support from Speaker Pelosi at the time. And, and now we have President Tsai has decided to meet with Speaker McCarthy here in the United States, as you, you, you talked about in your lead up. Another very important meeting. And he's also doing it in a bipartisan fashion, I understand. So it sends a very important uh, message of support to Taiwan and asserts the fact that American officials will meet whoever they want, wherever they want, and that we will support Taiwan. And you said it, it is very serious for China, uh, but I wonder, and you said it's very different, but I wonder is which one is more serious? Is it her coming here to meet with Speaker McCarthy, or is it Nancy Pelosi when she was Speaker going to Taipei, as you just mentioned? I think uh, Pelosi's visit was more dramatic last year. Uh, uh, President Tsai has visited the United States or transited through, if you will, at least a half dozen times before. Her predecessors have done so as well. But look, the, the important dynamic here, too, is in less than a year, in January of next year, there's an important election coming up in Taiwan, and um, it'll be between the two contending parties. And interestingly, the KMT, which is a nationalist party, a former head of the nationalist party, uh, uh, Ma Yingjiao, is actually in China right now. So you see what's happening here, the dynamics being set up for a very a tough election fight next January that China will react to that as well, depending on the outcome. And when it comes to the U.S. and its relationship with Taiwan and uh, Beijing, I I'm curious if it is even possible to maintain a good and healthy relationship with Taiwan while not angering China to the point that we mess up our relationship or what's left of it with China. Well, ever since we opened up relations with China in the 1970s, We've been guided by a number of communiques and importantly, the Taiwan Relations Act. And it's important to note that the United States has, ne has never recognized uh, China's assertion of some type of authority over Taiwan. We've acknowledged that they believe that, but we've never recognized it. And that's added a, a degree of stability to the relationship for a number of years. It's China that's actually trying to change the rules of the game and trying to uh, up the ante through military exercises, through, through threats of retaliation, things like that, that they're trying to unilaterally change the status quo, which we have always said uh, we will not tolerate. And, and President, President Biden has said so as well, as you uh, spoke about in the lead up. It will be very interesting to see what China does after this meeting, as both McCarthy and Tsai Ing-wen have said, it's happening and we're going to give a press conference afterwards. That's former Defense Secretary Mark Esper. We'll see you again soon, sir. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.